What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos, I'm Rod. I'm Lego. And today we uh, wanted to make this video, it's gonna be a little bit different, we wanted to make this video to thank all our subscribers and a few other people, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, at the end of the video, we're gonna check out some viewers' bikes, so make sure you guys stay tuned. All right guys, so like I said in the video, uh, we've reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube and uh, there's a few people specifically that we wanted to thank for helping us hit that milestone. The first one is Gorilla Cables. All right, Gorilla Cables has been really good to us. You guys know watching our moto vlogs and watching our installs that me and Lego run their cables. Uh, we run them on the, we ran them on Nelson's fender when we did his full fender conversion. Me and Lego both run, ran it on our handlebar um, extension, or our, I'm sorry, our gauge relocation. Um, so they make really awesome, really awesome products. They make really awesome cables. Uh, whether you need something for a Sportster, a Dyna, a bag, or a soft tail, they make it all. So make sure to hit them up for all your wiring needs. All right, guys, next person we want to thank is a uh, Diesel Oil Guy. Um, it's at Diesel Oil Guy on Instagram. So. He's an AMSOIL dealer, and anything you need AMSOIL, whether it's for your motorcycle, whether it's for uh, your truck, your car, anything AMSOIL related, anything, any type of lubricants, make sure you hit them up. Uh, use uh, code at Demos for 10% off, and uh, he's a really good dude, and he'll work with you. You know, he doesn't just push, push himself. Like, you could either buy it from him directly, or you could buy it off the website. Um, really awesome dude, so make sure you hit him up at Diesel Oil Guy. All right, the next person we'd like to thank is uh, Kitzel. All right, check out his website at KNS Customs. Um, he also has an Instagram at Kitzel. Uh, same thing as, as we talked about earlier, when me and Lego did that upgrade to relocate our Speedo and Tack, we, we've talked about it multiple times. We've said this is one of the best upgrades we've made to our bike. Um, those gauge pods and that dash delete we got from Kitzel. All right, he's a really good, good guy. All right, I'm pretty sure he machines and uh, powder coats all his, all his own products. Uh, so support his small business. He's out of Canada. He ships anywhere in North America, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but he makes more than that. He makes uh, case savers. He makes uh, he makes wheelie bars. He makes headlight blocks. So if you guys need any of that stuff, go check him out. He makes really good products. All right, guys, the next dude, we owe a huge shout out. This dude's probably shouted us out like three or four times. And, you know, we didn't we didn't have that many subscribers. So we wanted to wait until we thought, you know, we reached like a good amount so we could uh, so we could get his name out there. So if you're not following at John's Motor Garage, make sure you follow this dude. This dude's awesome. Uh, he's probably every time he shouted us out, we probably got like 20, 30 subscribers, something like that. You know, every single time he shouted us out. So huge thank you to at john's moto garage he does uh moto vlogs you know he's always doing backflips off of stuff he's pretty crazy uh he's got a sweet adventure van you know and he drops a video like almost every day his channel blew up and uh can't thank that dude enough uh so thank you all right the next person we'd like to thank is our buddy cameron piggott uh check out his youtube check out his instagram everything everything diesel all right make sure you put that right because uh someone tried to piggyback off them <laughs> but uh it's everything diesel if you're into uh cummins or diesel trucks check them out he has a lot of good content out there um he's actually probably the one that's uh helped us start out um the the biggest influence in helping us start out he ran he was running his channel for a while we actually work with him and uh me and Lego had a lot of questions on starting this YouTube, and uh, he was able to answer a lot of them. He's always uh, giving us pointers and stuff and uh, telling us how we can take the channel to the next level or what he thinks, you know, constructive criticism. It's always a good thing. So uh, thank you to Everything Diesel. Remember, check them out if you're into diesel trucks. All right, the next person we want to thank is uh, Trip HP Junkie. Um, his his Instagram is Trip underscore HP Junkie. Uh, he rides Dinas. He's got a bagger 
I think he's like a Nissan mechanic and maybe a Harley mechanic as well. But we want to thank him because early on when we were doing our moto vlogs, I was having all that trouble with my moto vlog setup, my microphone. I couldn't get it to work. It was scratchy. I was just having tons of issues. And he actually reached out to us and gave us some really good pointers and uh, told, us, told me specifically to check out some products. And uh, ever since then, I've been running pretty smoothly on, on our moto vlog. So uh, check him out, trip underscore HP junkie. He puts out some good content. Uh, he does some moto vlogs, does a few other things. So check him out. All right, guys, another dude we owe a shout out to is uh, Joe with uh, Deviant Fabrications. Um, Deviant Fabrications, they make some awesome stuff for Dynas and FXR specifically. You know, they make uh, some really nice fairings. They uh, make some really nice hard parts. Like, I think they just started making an oil pan. Um, they make brackets. Uh, those bags that you see in our install, um, those bags, he sent us out to him. He wanted us to review them and uh, just thank you, Deviant Fabs. All right, guys, another, uh, another company that we, uh, we really like and uh, we'd like to shout out is Moons MC. Um, they specialize in LED lighting, uh, anything for your Harley LED lighting, uh, they got it. Also, they sell uh, some hard parts, you know, they sell, um, I think they sell like fork tubes, they sell sprockets, uh, they sell a lot of stuff. Uh, they also got merchandise. Uh, that's one company we really like to support. They've supported us, and uh, we just like to shout them out. All right, so thank you. All right, guys, so for the second part of our video, um, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Maybe we'll turn it into like a monthly thing, a weekly thing. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, what we wanted to do was we wanted to take a look at some viewers' at some viewers' bikes. So I asked uh, some of our viewers on YouTube to send in pictures of their bikes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up just like that. And uh, we're just going to talk about their bike a little bit, all right? So if you're interested in it, let us know in the comments. And uh, maybe we can turn this into like a weekly thing. All right, so the first person's bike is Condor 408. And he's got a 2010 FXD. And a uh, pretty sweet bike. So some of the things that he's done to it, uh, he's got bunking, 6-inch pullback, risers, uh, bars. He's got shift linkage. He's got a chain conversion. Everybody loves a chain conversion. He's got Olin's 13.5 uh, piggybacks, uh, which those aren't cheap. He's got Race Tech's, uh, Race Tech for the front suspension with Speed Merchant Gold Eliminators. Uh, he's got Salomon seat on it. He's got a Fab 28 pipe. That ain't cheap. <laughs> Arlen S Big Sucker, Big Owls, uh, Fork Brace, uh, Moon's MC, a Headlight and Tail Light. Uh, pretty sweet bike. All right, the next uh, subscriber's bike that we're gonna look at is Ballard FXLR. All right, it's funny when he sent it to us, he said, not a Dyna, but I thought I'd send. All right, it's a 2019 Softail Lowrider. All right, he has a TBR full exhaust, FP3 tuner, Biltwell Tyson 14 inch bars, and the bike has an M8, which is the 107. All right, guys, uh, next subscriber's bike is Dynadan85. Um, and he just said, hey, guys, wanted to enter my pick from your post on YouTube. So I have a 2015 Dyna Lowrider, uh, stage one kit with a 103 motor, Vanson Hines Pro Pipe, Big Sucker Air Intake, and Vanson Hines FP3 Fuel Pack, which I'm a huge fan of. 10-inch uh, Biltwell, Biltwell Risers and Bars. And he said, thanks for checking me out. Big fan. Thank you, Dynadan. All right, guys, the next subscriber we're going to check out is one Neek underscore. All right, he sent us some cool pictures of his bike. As you can see on the screen, you see the one with the tank. Looks pretty awesome, but uh, he has the 2017 Dyna Lowrider S. Best bike Harley ever made. <laughs> All right, he's got a crater fairing on it, a Weissamick headlight. He's got custom dynamic uh, turn signals, and everything else right now is stock, but I know he's got big plans. That bike looks pretty sweet. All right, guys, so Grumpy Murdoch, he said, here's mine. It's 2015 FXDB, uh, really, really awesome blue. Um, he said, was the hard candy custom silver metallic? I hated the silver, so we tore it apart and painted it candy blue. It's a sweet color. Uh, all the work was done right here in my garage by me and my brother. That's how we like doing stuff, DIY. I went with the five inch straight risers, Bill Little tracker bars, burly sport fairing with the windscreen cut way down. 
cut way down. Drag specialties, 13 inch, ride height, adjustable shocks, SNS power tune, exhaust, Burley hex intake, Vanson Hines fuel pack three, Billwell grips, Kurikin levers, Karaokin levers. levers, and a couple more things I'm forgetting. Um, it's a really sweet bike, and yeah. Thank you, Grumpy Murdoch. All right, guys, so the next bike was sent to us by Moto DTX. And he's got a 2018 Harley Davidson Lowrider. All right. It's got a Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing, a Two Brothers exhaust, Scream Eagle Extreme Flow air cleaner, built well Murdoch 8 inch risers. He's got the Thrash and Supply mid bend bars. And uh, not a Dyna, but uh, still looks like a pretty sweet bike. All right, guys. Uh, next subscriber is Michael Anchors. He's got a 2015 Street Bob. Uh, it's got a two-in-one Bassani Greg Lutzka exhaust. Those things look pretty sweet. Uh, Arlen S Big Sucker, Billwell 12-inch risers, Billwell high bend tracker bars, Harley flush mounts. Um, that's for the tank. We got we got them both on our bikes. The uh, Salomon seat, uh, matching Vans grips, Memphis Shades fairings, Daymaker, Billwell foot pegs, and the custom Dynamics all-in-one license plate. Um, and it's a sweet looking bike. All right guys, the next bike was sent to us by Keith LaFonte. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. All right, he's got a 24, or I'm sorry, he's got a 2014 Dyna Low Rider. All right, he's got a race tank front end. He's got a Road Warrior fairing and he's got Lucky Dave's 14 inch bars. So thanks to Keith LaFonte. All right guys, next subscriber. Uh, I hope I don't butcher your name, but I'm gonna put it right there, so. If I butcher your name, you're still gonna have it up there. So Brady Bafleur, Bafleur. I don't know. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. Uh, but he's got a 2016 Street Bob with Vanson Hines big shots with the FP3 tuner. By the way, Vanson Hines, they have awesome customer service. They have awesome customer service, um, and a Mach 2 air cleaner and a La Para seat. Awesome. Uh, so thank you for sending your bike. I'm sorry for butchering your name. All right, guys, the next bike was submitted to us from FXR and Dyna underscore trades underscore sell underscore bay underscore area. <laughs> but uh, he sent us, as you can see, he sent us a pretty sweet picture of his 07 Dyna Lowrider. I used to have the exact same bike. I actually love that bike. Um, he's got the Billwell bars and risers. Lego seems like all our, a lot of our guys like the Billwell bars and risers. We might have to check those out sometime. All right. Um, He's got a TBR Competition S 2 to 1 exhaust. He's got the Saddleman step up seat. He's got Bunking front and rear crash bars. He's got a Moon MC tail light. And in the back, he's got progressive rear shocks. So thank you uh, for your submission, FXR and Dyna Trades Bay Area. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, next, next dude is a Condor 1990. Uh, he's got a 16 Street Bob, and uh, he says he's got a crater fairing, Arlen S F bomb, two into one. Um, looks like he's got some other stuff done to it, but uh, that's all he sent. Pretty sweet looking bike. All right, guys. The next bike was sent to us by A Syracuse underscore. All right, he's got a 2001 Lowrider. Says so he's got 20,000 miles on it. He's got a nest fairing of. Valhalla bound fairing lip. He's got 13.5 drag shocks. He's got a saddleman seat, thrash and supply head pipe with a thunder header muffler, screaming eagle intake, and he's got the West Coast T bars that are 16 inches. So, sent some pretty sweet pictures. Thank you for your submission. All right, guys. So, uh, our next subscriber, we got Mullins Ian. Um, First Sportster in the bunch, so he said, this is my 07 Sportster 1200, custom XL 1200cc. He's got a Road Grader Industries LED headlight and a Mustang vintage solo seat uh, are the only add-ons so far. So he likes flying solo. Um, thank you, Mullins Ian. All right, guys, the next bike was submitted to us from Lowkey GOF MC. All right, he's got a 2009 Super Glide. Um, he said all that has been done is the Raptor T Sport 14 uh, T Sport and the 14-inch T bars. 
and he's got a Fab 28 pipe. So thanks for your submission. All right, guys, so the last submission for this one was a 15 FXDB um, from Andy Bello, and he doesn't have an Instagram, so um, he emailed me this. Uh, he said, upgrades. He's got a polished Fab 28 I'm a huge fan of. Uh, he's got golf, golf, golfer rotors, uh, TMF cycles, chain drive, same chain drive kit as me, uh, certified OKC fairing, custom cut saddle and gripper seat, black top line tubes, red powder coated calipers, Turing Brembo calipers up front, full, full rear fender, 13.5 um, work shocks, and he says, pretty sure I'm missing some things. So thank you again, Andy Bello. Um, all right guys, so you're probably like, what the heck, where did Rod go? Well, I felt terrible because I told one of my buddies specifically like, hey, make sure you send me your, a picture of your bike so I can get you in the video. And he even asked, hey, when's the video coming out? And I told him Saturday, and then what did I do? Uh, I was marking everybody's messages and I forgot to mark his, so I skipped over him. So now, all right, all right, this is Lifted Laramie AZ. All right, this is his 2017 Dyna Street Bob. He's got Lucky Dave's 14 inch T-bars. He's got a creative fairing. Um, he's got performance machine grips. He's got Two Brothers 2-in-1 two exhaust. Uh, he's got Road, Ride, Road Rider Industries Zig Z turn signals and brake lights soon to come and a two-up seat and thrashing escape bags. All right, um, this dude, he uh, hits up all of our videos, you know, and he always hits us up on Instagram. He's asked us a lot of questions and uh, just th can't thank you enough for the support, man. And I told you I'd get you in there. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for us at Dyna Demos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, uh, thank you to everybody that's helped us out. Thank you to all our subscribers and uh, followers on Instagram and YouTube. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Rod. I'm Lego. And... Uh, so the new thing that we did was we checked out some viewers' bikes, and I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if your video, or if your bike didn't make it in this video, uh, I'll make sure to put it in another video. I just needed to get some more information from you uh, regarding your bike. So if it's not in this video, it'll be in another video. So make sure you just uh, stay on the lookout. Um, let us know how you guys like the formatting. Uh, we're thinking about incorporating maybe uh, like a prize or something to uh, uh, if we if we incorporated a voting system, um, then maybe like a prize for the winners. Uh, but let us know what you guys thought about it. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.